The environmental crisis and the impact of global warming are currently among the most hotly debated issues in the world. These issues will reach a critical stage by the year 2020, when an estimated 60% of the world's population will live in urban areas. Land development for urban construction inevitably affects the natural drainage system. When there is an overload on the drainage system, without efficient control of stormwater and flood mitigation management, this will lead to a greenhouse effect and ultimately to an increase in global temperatures. During the 2009 United Nations Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen, Malaysia made a commitment to reduce its carbon emissions by 40% by the year 2020. The management of drainage and irrigation systems form one of the four core pillars of the Low Carbon Cities Framework, LCCF. Pataling Jaya's major natural drainage system comprises of two main rivers, Sungai Kayu Ara and Sungai Penchala, stretching over a total of 16 kilometers in length with 12 smaller rivers. Among these smaller waterways are Sungai Damansara, Sungai Rumput and Sungai Gasi. There are 2,300 kilometers of roadside drains throughout the Pataling Jaya area, with a further 70 kilometers of monsoon drains. The rapid development of the city, including changes in land use, such as infill and compact developments, and the conflict between existing and future developments have impacted the drainage systems. The flow of water in the drainage systems, as well as the quality and quantity of river water, have been affected. These are indisputable facts, and we cannot deny this scenario, as all the areas of Pataling Jaya have been developed only within the past 50 years. Among the key problems that have been identified are pollution of the rivers and flash floods. River pollution is largely as a result of dumping of waste into the waters. This includes domestic waste as well as liquid and solid toxic waste discharged from factories, primarily illegal factories that operate near rivers. According to the River Water Quality Index, Sungai Klang, that flows through Pataling Jaya is at Class 3, moderately polluted, while Sungai Panchala is down at level 4. Flash floods occur as a direct consequence of restricted water flow in the drainage system, with drains clogged up by waste disposed in them and illegal structures erected over them. Some drains are not connected, missing links, due to poor coordination during the development of the land. Flash floods also occur when the rivers and drains with their reduced capacities cannot cope with the quantity of rainwater. Among the most flood-prone areas in Ptaling Jaya are SS4D-10 and Kampung Chumpaka, where Sungai Kayu Ara overflows, PJS2, Jalan Templer, Persiaran Surian, and Section 4 and Section 6 in Kota Damansara, where the scupa drain is malfunctioning. The Drainage and Irrigation Department, DID, is responsible for all construction and maintenance works on the rivers in Pataling Jaya. MBPJ is responsible for all construction, upgrading, repair and maintenance of the approximately 2,300 kilometers of drains and ditches. MBPJ has carried out a preliminary study entitled Storm Water Management and Drainage Master Plan Study for Pataling Jaya Utara, North Zone, to resolve the problem of irrigation and drainage in Pataling Jaya. The research includes identifying reserve main drainage routes, capacity of existing drains, and carrying out hydrological and hydraulic analysis. This study will be extended to the South Zone next year. The engineering department has also developed a number of proposals for irrigation projects in five zones. The measures proposed to resolve the irrigation and drainage problems in Pataling Jaya are based on optimizing efficient effectiveness of the drainage infrastructure network while minimizing the impact of development on the natural drainage of rainwater. Development will be specified by the capacity of the existing infrastructure as well as additional capabilities as proposed in the project report of each development. Specific projections have been included in the Special Area Plan for Section 13, Pataling Jaya Local Plans 1 and 2, as well as Special Area Plan PJU, PJS, 
Sections and SS. Three steps have been identified. Development programs that involve construction of large drains and retention ponds. Maintenance that includes repair of small drains, upgrading of the drainage system and cleaning clogged drains. And awareness campaigns and promotions conducted in partnership with residents and NGOs such as the Water Project Sungai Wei and My Drain Day by River Rangers and Friends of Sungai Wei. Short, medium and long-term solutions have been drawn up with regards to the issue of the network of rivers and drainage systems that flow into the sub-catchments of major rivers. These solutions apply to the five zones in the study as follows. Bukit Gasing Zone Solutions to flooding problems encompass 10 projects at a total estimated cost of 8.5 million ringgit. Projects already completed include the construction of a water retention structure at the confluence of two large drains at Jalan 6 stroke 24 and Jalan 6 stroke 7 in section 6. Increased capacity extension of the retention drain at Jalan 12 stroke 14 and Jalan Utara and the upgrading of existing drains in the vicinity PJ Hilton and the residential area of Section 8 stroke 3. Taman Medan Zone The solution involves 18 major projects to be implemented within 10 years with a total projected cost of 12 million ringgit. Projects already completed include the upgrading of drains at Jalan PJS 2 stroke 3, improving retention capacity of the monsoon drain for a stretch of 200 meters at Jalan 4 stroke 46, and building a scupper drain at Jalan Selangor. Other projects include building a retention system in Jalan 1 stroke 15 and upgrading old dilapidated drains at Jalan 205 and Jalan 51 stroke 200. The project also covers the construction of a pedestrian walkway over drains that have been upgraded in Section 8, Section 3, PJS 1 stroke 25 and Jalan 51A stroke 225. Combating the flooding problem in this zone involves nine major projects, namely to divert drainage channels to flow directly into the main drain at Jalan SS 9 stroke 2, overhaul the ditch at Jalan SS 7 stroke 28, Taman Klana Inda, to a new box culvert, and reconstruct the existing drain in Jalan PJS 10 stroke 15A into a U drain. It is also proposed that all the drainage channels need to be regularly maintained and cleaned to prevent flash floods. Damansara Utama Zone The solutions to flooding and drainage problems in Damansara Utama lie in enlarging the culvert crossing and building retention ponds to reduce water flow to the culvert in accordance to MASMA concepts at Jalan SS 4D Stroke 10. In addition, solutions include building mini dams and retention ponds, desilting of the Subang Valley drainage tunnels, and repairing a collapsed wall drain from Jalan PJU 1 to Jalan BU 12 stroke 6 and Jalan PJU 1 stroke 10. Kota Damansara Zone The solutions of flooding and drainage problems focus on Pesiaran Surian, Kota Damansara, with infrastructure upgrades and cleaning of scupper pipes. The flooding of Pesiaran Surian that used to occur due to the overflow of water in Sungai Rumput has been resolved by raising the street level to a height of 1.2 metres. To date, 80% of the flooding problems in Petaling Jaya have been mitigated. The ratio can reach 90% provided there are enough allocations, adequate staffing and cooperation from all concerned parties such as DID, developers and residents. Funding for major infrastructure upgrades is obtained via City Council allocations, grants from the State Government, MARIS and MIDA, as well as ISF contributions. To ensure efficient and effective development works and drainage maintenance in Petaling Jaya, it is recommended that a drainage gang and enforcement unit be set up. It is also proposed that repair works, cleaning works and drainage surveillance be placed as a separate unit in the Drainage Division, Department of Engineering.
In order to foster sustainable irrigation and drainage management in Petaling Jaya, the Blue Corridor concept, rivers, lakes and retention ponds of development will be set up and enhanced through beautification programs and recreational and commercial activities. The proposed development of the Blue Corridor is at the SS7 catchment and the river reserves in Kampung Sungai Kayu Ara and Kampung Chumpaka. The planning of drainage and irrigation systems in the future will be based on the environment-friendly concept of control at source. Strategies employed will involve designing drains and trenches according to concepts and requirements as laid down by the Urban Stormwater Management Manual MASMA, Sustainable Urban Drainage Systems SUDS, and Bioecological Drainage System Bio these systems provide an alternative stormwater management and sustainable low carbon emissions involving swale, dry ponds, wet ponds and detention ponds. Every development project needs to assess its impact on the environment as well as ensure its aesthetic enhancement of the city Pataling Jaya.